Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I want to try and beat Remnant to Apocalypse mode using status damage. Now for those who are unaware, the new class added into the game with the Awakened King DLC is based entirely around status damage. The Ritualist gains multiple buffs while enemies take damage over time and increases that damage as well. Except it has one small problem. In the current state of the game, the longer a status stays active on a target, the less damage it actually does. And since since Ritualist's main trait you have to take when using the class increases status duration, this class greatly nerfs its own type of damage, to the point where a lot of people have stopped using this class altogether for status damage. Of course, even with this issue, Ritualist is still by far the best class for status builds as the skill Miasma easily procs every status instantly and that kind of usability is too good to pass up. So, we want a build that still works well with status damage on the Ritualist class in spite of its flaw. I give you the Red Prince status build. Ritualist will be our prime class as it gains a very powerful main perk. Any enemy with a status effect on them that dies spreads that status to other enemies in the area, causing them to take 15% more damage. Your skill is going to be Miasma as it's easily the most fun skill in the game that can apply 4 statuses to every enemy in the area. For the subclass you want Medic as it offers 25% more damage overall and makes healing a bit more efficient. The skill Healing Shield is a really solid defensive heal that can save you from a wide range of run ending attacks. For the armor, we have the Red Prince Crown with the new Crimson Guard armor, giving you this royal red look that's very fun to run around in. The dodge keeps you within medium range, so stamina is reasonable to manage. The Tranquil Heart's a really solid relic option here as we need to focus on applying statuses constantly. Less time healing is better for damage. As for the relic fragments, you want elemental damage, casting speed, and healing effectiveness. Sparkfire will be your main gun as it applies burning without any additional items and deals some very reliable damage. Throw on the Corrosive Rounds mod so it applies acid, deals more damage, and reloads your gun when the mod is activated. Then the Twisting Wounds Mutator added on lets Sparkfire apply three separate statuses in a single shot. The Krell Axe with Stormbringer equipped is the only possible option for running status as it greatly increases the shock damage applied and status damage overall. With this build, you can instantly drop many enemies just by throwing your axe. Rupture Cannon is a very fun sidearm here as it has some excellent stagger. Use the Creeping Mist mod so you increase status damage further and then Bullet Weaver for the Mutator lets this gun fire quite rapidly keeping enemies at bay. The Sinister Totem is your best option for status damage now as long as you keep applying it, getting up to about 50% more damage. The Band of Fanatic increases status damage and decreases its duration, so the current issue with status length is reduced by a significant amount. Shadow of Misery offers more status damage, Stone of Malevolence allows you to use both your mods with 100% uptime, and then the Ahane Crystal is a very powerful 20% boost to all damage. If you don't have Ahane because it is a hardcore item, the Burden of the Destroyer is always a nice substitute. As for traits, you want passive healing and overall basic survivability stuff. Affliction increases status duration and is required when taking Ritualist. Flash Caster to activate mods and your Miasma skill faster. Fortify for armor, regrowth for good healing over time. Strong back to stay in good dodge limit, triage for better healing, vigor for health, endurance for stamina, spirit for mod regen, expertise for skill cooldown, and glutton so you can increase your healing from the tranquil heart when needed. If I remember correctly, the amplitude trait does increase the size of your miasma skill if that's something you want to go into, but it is very much not necessary as the skill already has some absurd range. This is a very solid way to run status damage on the Ritualist class right now. It gets that duration issue out of the way a bit more and the damage is quite good as long as you keep elements going. Don't be afraid to use Ritualist for your status based builds even with this minor issue. People love to complain about damage and stuff but if you're able to beat a full run on Apocalypse with this then it's perfectly fine, go have fun with it. Here's the full run I did with this build playing on Apocalypse as usual and I hope you enjoy. Oh crap, that's not good. All right, we got a, uh, a dude. That's what I thought. Dang it, death number one against aberration. Here we go, Kayula, what you gonna get? Empathy? Nope. Empathy really wouldn't affect me that much.
guess she doesn't take the damage of the skill when she's underground. There we go. Here's the hard part. Because I can't apply fire. My gun's yeah. nerfed a little bit. Doesn't matter too much though. And yeah, now our damage is really high because our amulet. The amulet makes it so that you like do very little damage at the start, but then just start racking up real quick. Pearl Axe is really strong with this setup. And she did. This is going to be an easy fight. Can't use Krell Axe very easily in this fight just because of how aggressive he is. Look, it's gonna kill him. Status damage killed him when he wasn't in the fight. That's awesome. He has a regenerator. He does. Okay. Ooh, I can one shot those.
It's interesting. Of course. Can't really tell if the status damage is that good against him, the golem. It's really good on the corruptor guy, but. Oh, look at that. Gosh darn it, dodging early. There we go, now we got the damage ramped up though. We got the damage amped up fast that time. Watch for the butterflies. Woo, he's taking damage right there. That is damage. Oh, there's a butterfly. There we go. Oh crap, didn't see him. Yes, let's go, it worked. Okay, status damage really good in this fight. Really, really good in this fight. If you notice, the butterflies or the moths were less of a challenge because I was able to kill one and like nine of them would die. Summoning stone guys and throwing them towards enemies. Yes, let's get that going. That's a sick idea. All right, we use bulldog. Reload. That's a sick idea. Did it first try. Look at that. Oh, I was going to switch to shielded. That's nah, fine. Heck did the last one go? Ah, there it is. That was a close one.
Nice. Here we go. What do we have? Thick skin, elemental resist. Do I care? No. Elemental resist matters very little. The long scheme. You have a decent build. What makes a difference? Not the worst one we could have gotten, though. stamina game. That's our only tough move right there. I gotta be wary of that. The trick is that you need to run from her during that phase instead of actually dodging. And it uh, it'll get you if you don't. Where's she at? Just run, we got the damage. We got the damage. Time to kill some pigs. That was close. Oh, first Trider. Elemental Resist does make a pretty big difference, but I mean, in the long run, you're just going for overtime damage, so I wasn't too worried about it. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and die. <laughs> Dang it, I died by getting stuck in. That's convenient. Can I first try this? No, oh, bro. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way. All right, we need stamina. Do I want to go for dark fluid or still? I'm going to go dark fluid, actually. Reducing my cost by 20%. All right, let's see what happens. We're watching the cutscene because it's sick. Best cutscene in the game. 
They changed it, by the way. There's no longer a lag. He instantly kicks. There used to be a slow-mo right there. Why does it change? I don't know. Bro got elemental resist. What a punk. <sighs> His stamina is just crazy, dude. I gotta play around the statue ish. Dang, dude, he's gonna be—he's gonna be a tough one. All right, bit of a delay in that. Having trouble applying shock. There we go. Oh man, elemental resist really nerfed me right here, bro. They really nerfed me with that. Come on, dude. All right. Don't know how to do this one very well. to get good moment bro. my damage is not horrible considering oh come on let's not lie it's pretty horrible This. Watch this. Ready? Talk it. Oh no! That's not what I wanted. I broke him. I broke him. My strategy all along. Uh oh. Perfect time for the shield.
Second try. Second try, baby! Let's go! Second try on Bruin without ever doing it without stamina? That's such a good fight! Second best fight in the game. Alright, you guys ready? Somewhat ate that. Oh, of course. Died already. I screwed it. Oh, that's a bad start. That was a really bad start. What? I've never died by that before. How much damage does that do? Oh. That does 562 explosion damage. Never done that one before. That's new. I guess because she's closer up on you, you can't do that. I even need this mod. See that stupid, uh, Reload perk is amazing on there. Keep activating it one second before she does that. Oh, I missed. Okay, let's try and not blow ourselves up this time. We should be okay. Gotta watch for that. The Krell Axe is the toughest part. If I do it too early, I'm gonna hurt myself. Like that. Good news that I found her. Maybe? Where the heck is she? She moved already. Uh, that was weird. She usually doesn't move until you find her, but she moved fast that time. Honestly, fine with that. I don't like that phase anyway. Alright, 
she doing it again? Nope, there she is. I staggered her. She's summoning right above me. Oh, because status damage. She's being hit out of it by status damage, I think. As long as you don't use a grenade to blow ourselves up, I think we're good in that fight. <laughs> Team, what's your favorite class? Ooh, that's a hard one. I'd probably say Ritualist is now my favorite class. I would say the class I use the most is probably Medic. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Problem is, Primo, he doesn't actually take status damage very easily. Doesn't really work correctly with him. I kind of nerfed my build against him. And it's Regenerator, which is the opposite of what you want. This just went from bad to worse fast. I have no way of actually dealing damage to the bug. This is another bloat king from yesterday. <laughs> it's, it's just another bloat king, dude. That's funny. Alright, he's status now. Yeah, this works. Yeah, it doesn't work with him. That sucks, bro. They need to fix that, dude. They honestly need to fix that. Like, it does apply, some of them do, but it doesn't show. It's actually a pretty big error, in my opinion. You can beat him with statuses. I've done it. it ain't gonna be easy, though. Get the heck off me. Alright, now he's got the statuses on him. No, maybe? Alright, there we go. Now we have a ton of... There we go. It's working now. It's working now. Again, it doesn't always work. But I think we got it to proc properly. These stupid ugly slugs off of me, bro. Oh, can't see. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. This is where the status amulet comes into play because, I mean, I get 50% the whole time. Alright. Got corrosion on him. Yeah. See, technically he should have fire applied and everything else, but it just doesn't work properly. I think we can get him, though. Oh, I nailed that. Don't lie. 
Song of a Fear would be nice, right, Amana? Alright, this is definitely better than Blow King. That's for sure. Until that happens. Can't see. There he is. Okay, we need to shoot him at least three times. That's nice, appreciate that. Stupid bug. Stupid bug. Come on! Freaking dumb bug. I had him too, and it just stopped me from doing it. I got him this time, though. Wow, that did all of my health. Not cool, bro. Not cool. Where is he at? You little devil. Okay, no trapper. No empathy. That means element to resist. Oh, got lucky. Oh no, he's inside him. Gosh darn, I hate when that happens. Robot goes inside of his body. Dang it, stupid little robot. Not an ideal fight, but it'll be an okay one.
the damage is. Skill does work. He's immune to fire. Oh, maybe he would be. He's doing his easy moves, which I appreciate. We're getting a bunch of damage on the hands right now. Keep eating relics, we should be fine. Doing fine, we're doing fine. That was close, a little too close. What was that, unfortunately? First trying Shahala is like a record, bro. I never first try that guy. Oh, what the heck? Whoa! I'm getting bombarded right now. Yeah. I don't know what happened. I think I shot the dumb thing on my back and it exploded me. I did it again. I think I'm gonna be so cool with throwing this grenade. I keep forgetting it kills me. Why do I keep doing that? Came out of nowhere.
Yeah, easy. If you don't blow yourself up with a grenade, this game's a lot easier. Element to resist. Oh, that's a good one too. Yeah, hope he doesn't have that. Skull crapper, skull cracker empathy. All right, let's see. Drain is spiteful. We were all wrong. All right, never seen that one before. I dodged the timing perfectly, and it somehow still stuck to my head. If I'm backing out, I don't know how to dodge that. The only way I know how to dodge is to run up, and I hate being close to it. Gonna slam. Oh, guess not. Status damage is pretty solid. It's just that I need to dodge properly. Look at that elemental damage, man. Gonna do ground slam, I assume? Nope. Maybe. You almost got me, boys. You almost got me. It's a stamina fight, dude. I'm telling you, Venom is so easy if you just have unlimited stamina. That's all there is to it. That bisected ring makes him so easy. Okay, boys. Let's do this. Vicious and thick skin. I was right about one of them. Reload is going to be my only issue here. Even Annihilation, you have less problems with stamina than you do with Venom. Oh, well, that's weird. Must have messed my dodge up. Damage is good, man. The damage is good. He 
need that base. You freaking traitor! How oh, you dare you do that to me? I don't know how that makes him a traitor, but... Dodge it right now for some reason. Need ammo. Ammo is probably the biggest issue. I mean, I could pick it up, but it just waste my time. This is one of the best guns in the game for killing the orbs, weirdly enough. Like, you would think it's better, or Enigma's better, but no, this one's actually really solid. Easy money, baby. I got hit, I think, three or four times. They almost killed me, but... Three hours and 20 minutes. Yeah, this build's freaking great, dude. Because this ring fixes the problem we have with the status duration. And so you can actually make a really solid status build right now. Even though Ritualist's trade's bugged. It, it don't matter, this ring fixes it. Reduces status effect duration by 65%.